previously on Yakuza 4. Shibata ya. Shibata Kazuo. Osoraku yatsu ga Sasai no ojiki ya omae. Sore ni ore wo hameta chou honnin ya. こんないなとこ呼び出して何のつもりなんすか<笑>しばらく会わないうちに関西弁うまくなりましたねよく努力されてるようだ島野さんが目をかけているのもよくわかりますせやから何なんすか用があるなら早い言うてください柴田さん礼服ですか今日は誰かの葬式ですかいやそれは別にああそういえば支えのとこの佐江島も今日は礼服を着て出かけていったみたいですそそうですか担当直入に言います今日の上野義治の襲撃真島さん行かないでください<笑>どうしてそれをあなたと佐江島は今日出所直後の上野義治を都内のラーメン屋で襲うそういう計画ですよね実はあの計画ちょっと問題がありましてね予定を変更させてもらうことになりましたどどういうことや上野清和会を今潰すのは得策ではない道島組長がそう判断したということですな何やと<笑>そう興奮しないでこれはあなたが所属する道島組が決定したことなんですから柴田はちゃんと説明してくれやそもそも今回の上野義治襲撃の計画あれは道島組が都内の島拡大のため計画したのがことの発端ですその計画を道島組は支え組へと託したそこまでは知ってますねなあせやから堂島組の俺と支え組の佐江島がやることになったんやそうですでもこの計画何かおかしいと思いませんか何がや我々登場会はどうして出所直後の上野義治が都内のラーメン屋に来るという情報を知り得たのか考えてもみてください2年もの間刑務所に入っていた人間が出所直後ラーメンを食べるなんて陳腐な行動に出ると思いますか上野清和会の総長ともなれば組が用意した方面祝いに向かうのが常識ですそそれはおかしいんですよこの話は最初から裏の内通者によって仕組まれた可能性が高いんです内通者狭く人目につかない郊外のラーメン店襲ってくださいと言わんばかりの場所にわざわざ出所直後の大物が行くと思いますかそれじゃどうして上野はおそらくこの計画裏で上野清和会の裏切り者と登場会の裏切り者とが手を組み仕組んだものなんです裏切り者やとええ上野が出所後そのラーメン屋にやってくるという情報を出した人間それを仕入れた人間それが上野清和会の裏切り者登場会の裏切り者ということになりますそれは誰なんや登場会の裏切り者は分かっています笹井秀樹今襲撃に向かっている佐江島大河の親笹井組の組長である笹井がこの情報を仕入れた張本人ですさ笹井のおじ笹井は上野清和会とつながっている笹井は登場会に上野が現れる場所の情報を流しわざと我々が襲撃するよう促したどどうしてそんなことを戦争を起こす気なんですよ戦争
笹井は東条会が上野清和会に手を出すきっかけを作り出すことで逆に上野清和会が東条会相手に戦争を仕掛ける理由を作り出そうとしているんですそないなことして何の得になるんやさあそこまでは分かりませんただ上野清和会にとってはこれ以上ない戦争の大義名分が出来上がる何せ先に手を出したのは登場会なんですからねきっと笹井は上野清和会側の内通者と手を組み戦争の事態収集に動くそうなれば笹井は一躍登場会の幹部候補として名が売れるそんなとこでしょう真島さん今日の襲撃堂島組の人間であるあなたは言ってはいけないこのまま襲撃に向かえば堂島組長いや島野さんにも迷惑をかけることになってしまいます真島さん私の話聞いてますか兄弟はもう向かってねえやじゃあ俺はどうしたらいいんじゃま真島さんあんたは俺に兄弟を裏切れっちゅうかこのまま見殺しにせっちゅうか落ち着いて落ち着いて俺は行くたとえどんな裏があっても構わへん俺にとって西島はたった一人の兄弟なんじゃ真島さんでもそれじゃああなたの身もうるさい関係ないわこっちは備えのもんとっくに捨てる払ってきたんじゃそうですかそれじゃ仕方ありませんねおい手荒な真似はしたくなかったんですが残念です柴田あなたにはしばらくの間ここで暮らしてもらいます柴田野郎だこの人数相手に手こずらせやがって<笑>いい根性してるぜさすが襲撃を任されるわけだ。いいか俺たちは親父の命令であんたをここに監禁してるわけだが殺すなとしか言われてねえつまりだ暴れたあんたを落ち着かせるためなら多少の傷を負わせても何にも問題ねえってわけだ例えば目ん玉の一つくらいだったらなさあ謝れ泣いて俺に詫びろでけへん何俺が頭下げれんのは自分の親父と自分が認めた男だけやそれじゃ覚悟はできてるってことだな目ん玉一つくらいでお前には頭下げんああそうかよ Jesus フォー
よ答えろなんでお前あの日スカイファイナンスの前の現場にいたんだ仏の顔にお前の指紋がべったりくっついていた死体に素手で触れるデカがいるが普通おいてめえ俺の話聞いてんのか聞いてんのか聞いてんだよし来いなんだお前こいつお何聞いてあんだてめえこんな時に競馬かたくどうなってんだよ生活安全かよまあそう目くじら立てないでああもういいっすか時間ないんで時間だおい谷村、はあ、なんすか一つだけ忠告しておいてやる一人で何を嗅ぎ回ってるのか知らないが妙なことに首突っ込んでると親父さんの二の舞になるぞ何だ何見てんだいや別にご忠告どうもどこ行く見回りですよケイラは生活安全課の基本ですから何が見回りだどうせ違法営業店を脅して口止めに賄賂もらったりしてんだろうがまあご想像にお任せしますそれじゃついてはあ、oh, we're an, a new person cool hey what's up chief mm. is that all we have to say you went to a mahong parlor uh, during your patrol yesterday that's what's up mm? I did this isn't a joke please don't gamble while you're on duty I shouldn't have to remind you Okay, all right. Look, someone called in saying you took them for tens of thousands of yen. What do I say to that? Who'd you say called that in? I didn't. I can only imagine what you'd do to the poor fellow if I did. Hmm. Anyway, think of the position you're putting me in here. What would I say to your father? Letting you run amok like this. I should mention I risked my neck pulling you into community safety. Have you ever considered that? Yeah. You're right. Sorry. At least make an effort to stay on track, all right? Find the informant, huh? Okay, now to find whoever ratted me out to the force. Orchid, Palace, Matt Hong's a good place to start. Ah! Well, here we are. This is us. And you're still here. Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I'll go there then. And I, th Whoa, hold on a second. Hold on, look at this run. <laughs> Looking for Bide. <laughs> He's on a mission, look. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh so much. Well, we're going to see that a lot. Okay, is it here? Uh, here, is it? Yes. Hi. Excuse me. Oh, Tony Morrison. Here to play Maho again today. No, not today. Can you tell me which members were here in the shop when I was playing here yesterday? Hmm, well, there was one person I wasn't familiar with. There were probably someone who came here for the first time yesterday. The other members were those two regulars who were playing over there. Ah, oh, that's right. I remember now. Thanks. You're very welcome. Did something happen? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, all right. Okay. I guess you guys are all right, or do we talk to you? Hey, you got a minute? Oh, it's Tony Morrison. Like to do some more damage? 
No, I'm here to find a snitch, and it better not be you. Snitch? What are you talking about? Save it. The chief said someone filed a complaint about yesterday. Come on, Tanny san That wasn't the first time I lost a major chunk of change to you. If I was going to snitch, I would have done it a long time ago. Plus, I don't even want to know what you'd do to me if I did. Right? For sure. I can always earn back the cash you rolled me for. The damage you do would probably be a lot more permanent. You got that right. Oh, but what about that other guy at the table? I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. Yeah, he seemed like he was hurting for money. But he was hurting even more after he, you dropped in and steamrolled us. Uh, so where's he now? Oh, he's, uh... Wait a second. What? Tanny Murasan, tell me if I'm wrong, but this isn't official police business, is it? So why should we give away this information for free? Hey, you're right. This is the perfect chance to recoup some of our losses from yesterday. Oh, come on, guys. Well, what's it gonna be? All right, fine. Name your price. I won't ask much. Like I said, I don't have a death wish. How about two silver plates? They give those out as prizes here, so that should be simple enough. You really want to stick it to me that bad, huh? Fine, silver plates it is. <laughs> Thanks, officer. We just want to win something for once. So I don't care how you get them. Easiest way is to win or buy enough Mahong sticks and exchange them at the prize counter. Probably. Oh. I have to play Mahong? I... I... I don't know how to play Mahong. Oh, what's this? Something here. Ah, oh, lucky. Have I... Have I got enough? Already? Can I get silver plates? Hey, I heard you're in need of some prizes. Yeah, two silver plates. Can you give them to me? Sorry, no can do. However, you can get them by exchanging sticks. You can either win a few games of Mahong or buy the sticks yourself. If you just can't manage to win a Mahong, feel free to buy sticks and exchange them as is. Hmm. Oh, now that I think of it, Tani Murasan, the shop next door sells fake silver plates. What do they use them for? Fake, you say? Uh huh. Maybe they're talking about the pawn shop. Hell yeah. Do you guys have fake silver plates in here? Let's have a look. Uh. Fake silver plate. I want two of them. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. This will save me the embarrassment of losing Mahong over and over and over again. I've got your... Silver plates. Hey, it's Annie Morrison. You get those two silver plates yet? Yeah. Yeah, got them right here. You hand over two fake silver plates. Hey, wait a sec. These are total knockoffs. True, but for all intents and purposes, they're still silver plates. You never said anything about quality. Really? You gonna do me dirty like that? Or did you call yourself a cop? Hey, I get you your plates. You tell me what you know. That was our agreement. You came up with it yourself. Man, you suck. But whatever. Should have known better than to try and pull one over on you. Okay, so the other guy at the table yesterday, his name's Lida. Yep, that's your guy. Can't say we know him that well. But we do see him around every so often. He mentioned he didn't have a traditional job, per se. But he works at the Shichifuku parking lot. Ah, the one over in Shichifuku in Senryo. Yep, that's the one. Now I don't know what he does over there. But he did say there's where he makes his Mahong money. So I guess he must be doing something right. Okay. That's all I need to know. Oh, but be warned, you were super pissed after you left yesterday. Said you weren't going to get away with what you did and other crazy stuff. Yeah, he was kind of freaking out, honestly. He's a pretty big dude, too. Wouldn't want to be in his way when he's mad. Anyway, that's pretty much all we got on him. That's more than enough. Guess I'll swing by the Shichifuku Park and not and pay our friend... Is it Lida or Ida? I guess it's Ida, because it's not a capital L. Ida a little visit. See if he's the guy who knocked on me. Yeah, it sucks to be in. Anyway, come back again and give us another shot at you. Yeah? It's only fair. Hell no. <laughs> sure. Have to take your money anytime. And that's if I ever learn Mahong, which I can't and don't and won't. Well, 
to the park, I guess. Hi, officer. What's going on? That's right. I'm not a wanted criminal man. So I can just run around freely and no one cares with my Terminator stride. It's like the T-1000 running after your girl. <laughs> Blue man. Hey, haven't I seen you before? Yes, I remember. I saw you speaking to someone in a foreign language. You must be quite the polyglot. How many languages do you know? Uh, Judy's upbringing and occupation. Tanimura is well versed in ancient languages. Ah, we can go to Little Asia. Awesome. Tanimura is also a resident of Little Asia. He considers the staff of Homeland to be a second family and can use the restaurant as a hideout. Ah, very nice. Huh? You know most of the major Asian languages. Really? And I bet you could hold a conversation with anyone who lives here. Hell yeah. Wow, look how small my health is. That sucks. Anyway, oi. I've got a bone to pick with you. Hey, you. What's this? A challenger? Finally, someone around here actually has some balls. I go by Mr. Try and hit me. The job's in a name. Hit me in under a minute and you get 50,000 yen. Only costs three grand to play. Want to give it a shot? Hell no. Do not look familiar to you. Oh, shit. You're that Matahong monster. Bingo. Now look, I have some questions for you. Got a few moments. Nope. Don't know nothing. And I definitely didn't rat you out as your superior officer either, so why don't you scurry on back to Donut Patrol? Well, what a diss. You're not very bright, are you? But thanks for saving both of us the time. Now's the part where I teach you a lesson for being such a sore loser. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Can't touch this, baby. You gotta be kidding me. It ain't no joke, jackass. They used to call me the Artful Dodger back in the day, because my footwork alone is a masterpiece. So get ready, because for the very first time in Camarocho history, Mr. Try and Hit Me is gonna try and hit you. It's gonna be some groundbreaking shit right here. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be handing you your ass in under a minute. You think you're hot shit, huh? Alright then, game on. Come on then. You talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Let's see. I just hit you 10,000 times. I continue to hit you. Is that parry? Nope. I don't understand. Oh, do I just press that button? Hold on. What the fuck do you want me to do? What are you asking me to do? Challenge? I don't understand. I was pressing L1 and it didn't work. Sod it. Oh. No! You know what? I'm gonna do it. Oh! You gotta time it really well. I see! Oops. Oh god. Otherwise it just blocks. Ow. There we go. Ah! Now it's good that I did that. Hey! Not bad. Alright, now I just gotta smack you up. Oh! Get owned! Sit down! Nice! And I leveled up. What the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Shit. How about it? Wanna try again? Mm. Sorry about ratting you out. I won't do it again. Damn right you won't. What'd you do in the first place? Well, it's like this. I've been living as Mr. Try and hit me for years here in Camarocho. But there's this one scary looking guy in a grey suit who challenges me to fight every year. And every year I end up losing. Each time, I train harder before fighting him again, but I can't seem to beat him. So I started playing Mahong to take my mind off it. I ended up getting hooked. I have a feeling they're talking about Kiryu <laughs> in the grey suit, because this guy is in different games. Turns out I'm pretty damn good. But just when I started thinking Mahong might be a good way to make a living, you had to come along and spoil the fun. I lost a shitload of money to you. So I was pretty pissed. What with the Mr. Try and Hit Me thing and the Mahong thing going to hell. So I picked up the phone and yeah. Anyway, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Do your worst. I don't care. Uh, I'm over it. What? I'm saying you're free to go. After all, it's not like you're still out to get me. And besides, I got a few good punches in. Let's just call it even. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, pal. 
Just watch it. Grab me out again, and you won't get off so easy. Yes, sir. I wouldn't dream of it. Right. Well, at least I got to work out some aggression. Go. Cool. All right. And don't ever let me see you again. I was going to carry you here. Whenever I can be him. I'm thinking he's the last character. Incoming message from HQ. Report of fighting at Theatre Square. Officers in the vicinity. Head to crime scene. I swear. Petty incidents like this never end. I guess it's close by. I'll have a look. Sorry. Ah. Shut up, bitch. You're the one that started this, and now you just want to back out? You owe me money. Alright, that's enough. I'll let this one slide if you disappear and quick. Huh? You got a problem? Maybe I'll just kick your ass and collect what I deserve from you instead. Alright. Joke's on you. I know how to parry. Yeah, I'm going to parry your very first hit. Watch this. Come on. There you go. Oh, and let me get you in the back, Hotter. You feeling hotter now? Okay, so he's got four. Whoa! I like that. <laughs> now that's a nice combo. Uh, uh, you're no joke. Who the hell are you anyways? I'm Tani Mura, a detective here in Camarocho. Shit. Fucking cops. Watch your mouth and get the hell out of here. Arresting punks like you is a waste of my time. Right. Consider me gone. Thank you. You saved me. No worries. I was just passing by. Don't think much of it. You should watch your step from here on out. Yes, sir. I apologize for the trouble. I'll be more careful in the future. Phew. That takes care of that. The psyche cleans that up quite nicely. You've got a feather in your hair. And you are. Oh, I apologize. I am Akeishi, here representing the Kamurocho Guard. Kamurocho Guard? Oh, that volunteer group doing a community watch type of thing. You know us? Well, it's nice to meet you, Tanimura san. Huh? And you know my name? Working in the areas made me really knowledgeable about the local police. And boy, have I heard a lot about you. I'm always certain it's nothing good. Anyways, nice work back there. You resolved the situation by being the first on the scene and handle things exponentially. I just came by because I was in the area and heard about it on my radio. Our group gives it all to maintain the peace here in Camarote Show. But with a pleasure district this big, even our combined efforts can't cover all the problems that arise. That's for sure. Plus, and I'm not sure why, there's been some mystery group trying to interfere with us lately. The nature of our work requires we put ourselves in harm's way. But now we have people actively working against us. Our ranks are thinning. Hmm. That's not good at all. Which is why I have a favor to ask you. Would you mind lending us a hand? Huh? Keeping the peace is technically my job, but I don't think I can just up and join your group. You won't have to actually join. Just help out once in a while. Our group is to resolve incidents like the one you just dealt with. We want to make Camarocho safer for everyone. To do that, we need the assistance of police like you. They know much more than we do about the area. We'll use our funds to reward you, depending on how many instances you're able to resolve. This isn't easy for me to say, but we've heard rumors you are financially in need pretty often. Anyways, we'll pay you a fair amount for your services. Do we have a deal? Hmm. One thing bugs me. What is it? Well, you said you guys are volunteers, right? That's right. Then what's this about funds I'm hearing? Huh? Volunteer groups usually just barely scrape by. That is, unless they have some strong organization backing them. Well, if you can't say, that's fine, I guess. Not like I have anything to lose. Oh, thank you, Tanimura san. You can come by and help whenever you have the time. We won't force you to do anything you don't want to. All right, but only when I hear something on the radio and have some spare time. Really? Thank you very much. So I go to you for the reward money, yeah? Yes. I'm usually here at Theatre Square. Contact me once you've resolved a couple cases. 
You don't mind me collecting a bit on the side from the people I help, right? I have no issue with that. Roger that. This is gonna be such a big help. Thanks again. Well, as long as they're working for the benefit of Camarocho, it won't hurt to help out. So I'm a little bit of a corrupt cop, but kinda not. I keep the peace, but I'm also like, maybe I'll get some months. I see. Oh. Moshy Mosh. Moshy Mosh. Hey, Marchian. I've run into a little problem here. Would you mind stopping by the restaurant? Okay, be right there. Thanks. See you in a bit. I wonder what Zao's gotten mixed up in now. The easiest way to Zao's place, homeland, is to cut in from East Taehei Boulevard. Head to homeland. Hmm. I'd rather save first chili dogs. I guess we're going into Low Asia for the first time, which is kind of cool. Never been there myself. But hey, I know how to speak accents and... Accents? I mean languages. That's the word I'm looking for. Languages. So I can do it. Pretty cool. You know, I noticed a lot more police around since uh, I'm this guy. I actually kind of like the fact that we play a policeman. We're always playing the accuser. But now we're playing the police guy. Switching it up. I like it. また相当知ってて雇うのも不法就労助長っつう犯罪なの知ってたわ。捕まれば3年以下の懲役。もしくは300万円以下の罰金。勘弁してくださいよ。店の女が警察に逃げ込めねえこと知ってて、色々と直会出
また一人増えるのかあ父親が韓国に送還されたらしいどうして先日その父親が骨事故を起こしてなそのまま警察に引っ張られてオーバーステイがバレたらしいそりゃついてないな子供はまだ5歳うちで面倒見るしかないだろうなその子供の養育費にでも回してくれギャンブルかそれともまた巻き上げてきたのか<笑>どっちもかなええまったくお前さんってやつはまあありがたいのは山々だけどなあまり無理すんなよ You know, when he was shaking that guy down, I was like, this guy's corrupt and I don't like it. But now he's using money in this way, it's like, ah, maybe he's not so bad. Damn you, I'm getting mixed feelings from you. Oh well, let's keep going. So what kept you today? I thought you'd be here earlier. This detective, Sugoichi-san, was grilling me back at the station. Ever since that shooting, homicide's been all up in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's questioning police. That's ridiculous. Yeah, normally I wouldn't give a damn. But apparently, this wasn't just one random punk killing another. It was significant enough to set the Tojo clan against itself. Although, why homicide cares so much about mob activity is beyond me. That's what organized crime's for. Either way, we don't need another gang war in this city. Oh. And it's not just the Tojo clan. I hear the Ueno Sewa's involved. Ueno Sewa? Wait, isn't that? Yeah, the same clan my dad was investigating after Yoshiharu Ueno hit, right around when he was murdered. You think this is connected somehow? Can't say. All I know is the Ueno Sewa clan's been quiet for 25 years. But now there's a shooting a week ago, and suddenly they've gone into overdrive. Something's definitely up. Following this case could lead me to someone who knows the truth about who killed my dad. You're still looking for that woman? Yeah, Yasuko Seijima. Her brother Tiger's the one who carried out the hit on Ueno. She's been missing ever since that day went down. And do you really think this Yasuko Seijima knows why your father was killed? Maybe, maybe not. The last thing written in his notebook was me with Yasuko Seijima. That has to mean something. So she might even be the last person who saw him alive. Uh. Excuse me, I gotta take this. Is this Tanimura? Yeah, speaking. This is Park, the manager at Midori. Midori. Oh, right. The Korean salon. What do you want? Can you come here as soon as possible? Why? The police raiding the place or something? No, nothing like that. It's about that woman you've been looking for. Someone who looks just like her is here right now. Be serious. That's why I'm calling. Hurry up before she leaves. Okay, be right there. Hmm? Something wrong? I knew it. That killing set something in motion. Zao-san, I think I found her. Wait, the woman we were just talking about? I know, kind of crazy timing. I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. Let's see. I suggest you be careful. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere, right as you when I say we'll make the biggest ruckus in 25 years? The timing's too perfect. So you're saying she's involved somehow? Ah. Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? Now go. Find her before she disappears again. Right. You're off and running already, Machan. Yep. Business as usual. You know how it is. Let us know if you need anything, okay? You know, you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called Homeland if we weren't your home away from home. That's sweet. Meihua. Thank you. Ah, so this is my hideout. Got it. Alright, nice one. I'll save my game and all that crib. Crib? Crap. Where are my words going today? 
All right. Well, I guess I'll save here. Why not? See you later. I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same one I've been looking for. It's a Midori. Wherever that is. I don't know. It doesn't show it on the map. Oh, we've got some side quests now. Two million yen in one week. That's impossible. We just have to trust him. He'll be back to return the money. When? A million years from now? His room is completely empty. Your friends took you for everything you are worth. What's going on here? Listen to this. This good-for-nothing fool just ruined our whole lives. They'll take our restaurant unless we get two million yen by the end of the week. I'm sorry, what? I don't get the full picture. One of my friends needed some money, but he didn't have anything for collateral, so... That's no reason to put our restaurant on the chopping block. Really, how much of an idiot are you? How could I say no to helping out a friend in need? Help! The only help you've done is help ruin our business and destroy our livelihood. Oh, now what are we going to do? We worked our hands on the bone for years to get this place. And now we're going to lose it over nothing. Sorry. So you got took for two million, huh? That's a lot of money. I don't even think Zawasan has that much tucked away. What's all this commotion? Oh, Zawasan. Guess what happened to this guy? It's just as your wife says. There are limits to what you can do for people. Can't you use some Asian gateway funds? No way. We don't have two million lying around. Yeah, I figured as much. The only other thing I can think of is gambling. But two million's a dicey proposition. Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. I am. Now, Zao San, do you know of any underground casinos? Somewhere with really high stakes. This is Lee's doing much, Chan. You don't have to go that far out of your way to help him. Well, I couldn't help him even if I wanted to with my salary. There's nothing wrong with earning a quick buck at the tables, right? If that's your decision, then I won't complain. But I've been worried about you getting into gambling, regardless of all the help you've given us. That's why I haven't told you. Tell me what. I hear there's an underground casino and camera. What is that old man doing poking his head out the door? <laughs> He's behind his head now, hold on. Here he comes. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is oh, he's bent over because he's older. <laughs> I just saw like I just saw like a torso and his head popping out. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> uh that's funny. Anyway, I hear there's an underground casino in Camarocha. People call it the Dragon Palace. Really? Do you know where it is? Only that it's somewhere on Park Boulevard. That's a start. I'll go look for it. Thank you. Yes, really. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Besides, we're talking about gambling here. There's a strong chance I'll lose, so don't get your hopes up yet. And if I do manage to win, that'll just mean you have luck on your side, right? Sir, you're wonderful. Well, I'll be back. So, the Dragon Palace is somewhere on Park Boulevard, huh? I should go have a look. Are we seriously going to gamble for 2 million yen? What's up, buddy? Oh, you're not even in the door. You're just standing there on the side. Sniffing my chest. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, that's, he's a funny boy. What are we doing here? No Asia. No Asia. No Asia. I guess I'm going to Little Asia, huh? Sure. Why not? I'll chuck over there. Excuse me. So Lil Asia's over here, huh? Hi. Let's go in. Oh, that's going out. Okay. I see. Okay, cool. Well, there's a few okay. times. To oh. Gang violence reported at an adult entertainment shop on North Pink Street. North Pink Street? That sounds like my cup of tea. I'm right here. Let's go. Adult store, huh? Um, here. Yes. I'm home. Hello, excuse me. Wait, what was that? There was a, there was a prompt. Examine. Oh, there's something on a, f oh. I thought I was examining the DVDs. 
Oh well. Right, what's going on here? Um, hi. Hello. Let's see. I'd recommend these items for you, sir. Oh. Um. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, no, 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 thank you. I'm okay. Thank you. Please come again. So there's nothing happening here. Well, this is a waste of time. Huh? Oh, it was you guys. Outside the entertainment place. Okay, not inside. Better pay that protection money now. You stiff me and I'll bust up your shop. Why'd you expect me to get five million yen on such short notice? Great. Shady brothel on the Yakuza who looks like a complete moron. I'm gonna use my head. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a word with you? I'm with the Camarocho Police Department. Yeah, what'd you want, pig? I'd hate to inconvenience a decent Yakuza like you. Isn't there a better way to do this? If you just used your brain, you wouldn't have to worry about trouble from the police. Yeah, <sighs> give me a goddamn lecture. Fine, I'll let him off the hook this time. Thank you. I mean it. If you mean it, then why don't you show me? Huh? You're employing illegal immigrants, right? And now you've got a Yakuza on your back. Seems like you could use a friend on the force. Uh, <laughs> maybe you're right about that. Here, take this. Oh! I just corrupted someone. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to. I wanted to... Okay, so you can use your head or use your fist. You punch up and kill your Yakuza. Can I help you? You punch up and kill Yakuza. Or use your head and get money. I guess. I've got a choice. Alright. Well. Fair enough. 